Wherever you can find space to store water in the landscape, you're holding it back from flowing further downstream. Each individual site might not seem like it can have a great deal of flood benefit, but when you add them together across the landscape, you can start to get really strong collective benefits for flood management. To reconnect the river with the floodplain, what we've done is we've given it a brand new course that is, is much longer and therefore we can give it a much shallower gradient so that the burn flows through a whole string of wetlands. These regularly wetted and disturbed areas become really, really rich for wildlife. There's lots of very rich vegetation, there's lots of invertebrates and that builds a really complicated food web. So fish that have got access to wetland areas have got this really rich feeding ground. Working with the landowner here, we've been looking at options to try and hold the water for longer on the floodplain. Historically, lots of ditching has been done and in times of high water, the water has just discharged directly straight into the river, taking all the nutrients, all the sediment and everything with it, but also creating an environment where the river levels will rise very quickly and creating potentially flooding downstream. So what we've done here is taken one of those ditches and we've actually blocked it further up. We've dug out some scrapes and this is now allowing the water to stay much longer on the floodplain. The land is still useful, he could still graze cattle and other animals on there, could still be cut for hay. It's just working more with nature. We are also creating jobs, so the work that was undertaken here was undertaken by a young digger driver who lives locally. We've been involved with Fourth River Trust, coming in here, kind of creating some wetlands, habitats for birds and various other species. My granddad's got a farm up in the hills up there, and as you know, farming's changing and diversifying, so we decided to do a bog through the Agri scheme. That's how we got into it. I was like, that's good work, so kind of followed, followed it up and here we are today. Mainly all my digger work entails carbon storage or some sort of habitat or an environment of some kind. So yeah, no, it's good work, really good work. We're experiencing worse weather conditions we've ever seen before and it's things like native woodlands or riparian woodlands that'll help us slow the flow down so the rack will build up against the trees and push the water further onto the floodplain. Trade Forum's role is to work with the farmer, to take him through the process, to do as much of the paperwork as possible and to try and find the, the packages to make the, the schemes work financially because if it works financially then it will work on the farm. When there was heavy rain and floods we did lose a number of lambs in there. Due to the introduction from our landlord we met the Tweed Forum and all the stuff that the Tweed Forum had in their mind, it was virtually a mirror image of what we would like to see happening. It was a win-win situation. Primarily we are livestock farmers, but all these bits that we've done has made no difference to our stocking rate. Why would you put yourself through all the worry of worrying about sheep or cattle being drowned when you could fence it off, put trees in, and you can forget that bit of it? There's always something you can do if you really want to look at it. The more we can work in the headwaters above these towns that flood, the more effective yeah, that these flood programmes will be and the more sustainable they'll be. We need facilitators like Tweed Forum, right across other catchments in, in Scotland, to try and help farmers get through these schemes and these processes. It will become more and more important that we store carbon in wetland. It is part of our natural capital. It will be part of green financing and the way that people can make money out of their asset that they have on the land without necessarily being productive in the way that it might have been previously. If we don't allow rivers onto the floodplains where we can, they will flood other areas downstream. So the more landowners can work with communities to do this kind of work, even if it's helping even the smallest bit, every little bit in the jigsaw will help. <laughs>